I'm Billy Mac, and welcome to my garage. In my last video, we put the crank and the mains on the LQ4. So today what we're going to do is we are going to set in the pistons and get as far on a short block assembly as we can. So let's get to it. So we have all the pistons and rods ready to go, assembled with the rings on. The block was all cleaned out, oiled up, and ready to drop them in. So first thing I'm gonna do, re-clean everything. There's oil down there. We will put some more oil, but I just wanna make sure that everything is spotless. So I'm gonna clean the block first. Then I'm gonna give my uh, pistons a quick cleaning. They are pretty clean there now. I'm also gonna make sure that the rings are gapped correctly. And uh, when I'm doing that, I'll show you guys. So as for the rings, the bottom ring is going to be facing this direction and the top ring has to be at least 180 degrees away from it. Same goes for the oil rings. Try to keep the top and the bottom oil ring at least 90 degrees away from each other. Okay, so now that the piston's cleaned off again, I'm gonna oil it, oil the ring lands, the rings, while the rings are all lined up where they need to be, just keeping it all lubricated. Jamie's holding the camera for me, so she can explain more about lubrication, <laughs> if you'd like. Not now. Not now. Okay. Not now. Later. So the piston number one is all oiled up. Gonna come over here. I'm gonna re-oil, re-oil the cylinder walls lightly. Don't need to be crazy. So I'll get this side oiled up first. just so they don't start to rust. And make sure that there's absolutely nothing in the cylinder walls. All right. I'm gonna set piston number one in. Grab our lube. My own that like that. I just feel like that's the best way for me to hold it. The dot faces the front of the engine. And when you're sliding it in, you want to make sure that you're not gonna hit anything. So we'll get that out of the way. So one down, seven to go. There you go. How's that? Looks like Pete. Oh, me. <laughs> they go up and down. You know what that means. One step closer, two steps closer, three steps closer. What do you think? Good. <laughs> oh, near. All right. 
Now we'll just have to torque them down. Okay, so all the rods are in, and now it's time to torque the rod bolts. So to torque these, the manufacturer requires you to go 15 pounds feet, 15 pounds feet, and then I think it's 90 or 80 degrees um, with the degree or angle gauge. But what we're gonna do, because it's about the same, we're gonna go 15, 15, and then up to uh, 51 pounds feet of torque. Um, everybody that I talk to and some guys that do a lot of engine building say the rod bolts, especially when we're reusing them, they say that they run them to 15 pounds, or sorry, 51 to 55 pounds feet uh, on just a regular torque wrench. So that's what we're gonna do. So we got our torque wrench. Uh, I'm gonna turn that a little bit. So I'm gonna turn the engine just to make it a little bit easier. And again, I'm gonna start with the inner rod bolts and then uh, I'll work my way out. So we'll start here, then there, and work my way out. Uh, I don't believe that that's something that is required, but that's what we're gonna do. 15. 15. Work my way out. All right, and now we're going to set the torque wrench to fifty one. Pound feet. Same thing as before. So there you have it. They're all torqued all in, end caps, rod bolts, pistons are in. So what I think we're gonna do then, since we can't pull that off, we might as well throw the cam in. And it is a Brian Tooley Racing Stage 2 Turbo Cam. And I think it's gonna make lots of bump and lots of power. Let me go grab the cam and we'll get her ready. And there you have it guys. Com cam, special grind for a uh, Brian Tooley Racing. I'm gonna get this uh, cleaned up a bit, lubed up, then we'll throw it in. So after cleaning it off, now we're running the, uh, the bearing guard or the assembly lube, nice and smooth. Let's go throw it in. So with new cam bearings in this, you want to be extra careful. Gentle, delicate as you can be. Brand new bearings in place, ready to make some power. All right, so here is the new cam thrust plate. Beautiful, right? Only problem is it's a newer style. It's got the countersunk. The old thrust plate that I had, well, we don't have countersunk torques. So that's a problem. So for now, I'm gonna put some assembly lube on the outside and inside, set it on there put these on for now and then I'll go to the dealership and try to order some countersunk torques. 
threads, bolts. Torx bolts. Hold this. Wait, my ears. <sighs> okay. So what I'm doing now is I'm putting some of the assembly lube on here. If you can get it out. Yeah, if I can get it out. It's Canada, so it's cold. So we'll put a little bit on there. Do you want me to rub it in or do you want to rub it in? Rub it in. You want to rub it in? Okay, can so you you're going to rub it right around that, that circle. Okay. You don't want to get any on the plastic down here, the red part. Okay, okay. okay I'll hold it. You can rub it in. It's okay. sticky. Yeah, it's like syrup. Nope, nope, not there. All around the circle. Yeah, you can rub it in good, rub it in good. It looks like ketchup. It kind of looks, Ew. looks like a big mess of ketchup. Ew. So in here a little bit too. Then it looks like I'm bleeding. And we put a little bit on the outside. Not sure it's really required on the outside, but we'll put it there anyway. Just to keep friction from kicking in. We'll hold that. And now. One. Two. Beauty. So we're just going to thread these in for now. I suppose if I move this over, you guys can see a little bit better. Thread this in for now just to keep it on so the cam's not flying everywhere. Dad, where can I put this? So I just go you can go set it right there, yeah. And then we'll wash your hands off. Now we know the cam's not going to fall out. Not that it was going to fall out. Anyway. It wasn't going to fall out. It wasn't going to fall out. Beautiful. So now, thrust plate is on, lubricated up. All the pistons and rods are in. We put these in, don't we? Yeah, we had to put it in today because you were at gymnastics, right? <clears throat> She's getting ready for our competition. Yeah, on the February 19th, I have a competition, and on May 20th, I have a competition. So two days in a row, I have competitions. Beautiful. Beautiful. So that's it for now. Short block's pretty much done. Olivia and Jamie was out helping me today, and it was a great day. But for now, I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Stay tuned for the next video. This was part two of the series. Like and subscribe. The last video was long. Hopefully we can edit this one down a little bit shorter. I'm Billy Mack and this is... Olivia Mia. Olivia Mia. And welcome to our... Garage. Garage.